Hi, teacher. Good afternoon. Hello. How are I'm you, okay. Renee? I'm okay. Thank you. And you? Fine. Thank you. I'm a little tired. Okay. Your day? All days. Your all days? Yeah. Don't worry, Nanya. Sí. Para que nos diga. Hello guys. How are you? How are you? Hello, hello. Hello, hello, Mr. <clears throat> Teacher, uh one question. Yes. What do you use for the agent or calendar for your job? So what is suggested? Oh, I use a Google Google Calendar. Mm. All the time. It's good. I really like it because the application is good. It's easy. Yeah. Okay. And then it's connected in the iPad, cell phone, uh, computer, you know? Okay. okay. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah, you should use it. How are you? I good? little tighter, but it's okay. Good, okay. And you, Mr. JC? Fine, thank you for asking Hi. everyone. Everything good? Yes, a little bit with hot. I turn on the air condition. No. Oh. I complete the homework teacher. Did you? How was it? Easy? Yeah, yes. easy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let, let's check the answers then. I'm going to give you the answers very quickly, okay? So you can check them. Of course, it was easy, of course, for you, right? Very cool. Let's see. Only JC and Andrea today. And... <clears throat> the, the, the homework. Uh, yes, sir. Easy, right? 
Right, extremely easy, right, JC? Yes. 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 I, I, um, yes. It's 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 fine. Um, Martin, Italy. Yes. For me, only the name Anna. <laughs> puse en vez de la e a lo último de la a puse la e, but the only. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. But Perfect. all the the answer it's okay. Perfect. Perfect. You got it, JC. Yes. Thank you. So and the second part, which is nice to meet you. Mm -hmm. These are the answers. Okay, let me make it bigger for you. Looking, yes. Yeah. This one is easy too, right? The listening? Yes. Yes. Of course. Yes. And Pater, do violent to me. <laughs> Le puse Where? Bombay con, bo con B de gran, B de gran. <laughs> Instead yes, of Mumbai. Mumbai, uh -huh. Mumbai. Yo do violent to me. <laughs> Similar names. Uh-huh. The last one, the last one, answer K. I put it in. Oh, for that. <laughs> oh my God. Answer key, I didn't put the name. I don't remember the Fernando. name. Fernando. Fernando. Fernando, ah, okay. Yes. Thank you, man. You're welcome. It was a copy paste. <laughs> <laughs> right? Five Carlos, mistakes. how are you, man? Five mistakes in here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. Good listening. How are you, teacher? Very good, Mr. And you? Good. Very good. Excellent. So let's continue, guys, with the second class, which is today. All right. We're going to have. Class number two. All right. Can you help me, Mr. JC, with the. The objectives that we have, it should be, hmm, I don't know, but it's this one, asking and answering personal questions. Let me see the book. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Number six. You got it? Yes. Okay, perfect. So that's it. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, esto no está en el libro. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's... Uh, okay. Asking and answering, answering personal question. Um, next, we'll explore how to ask and answer personal question. This includes common questions like, what do you do? Or where are you from? You'll practice both sides of these interactions, improving your ability to hold meaningful conversation and get to know other better. 
Very good. So the objective today is going to be exactly that. We're going to be asking questions, okay? Asking questions. And right. um, in order to do that, we're going to follow some grammar, okay? Some grammar notes. So let's go with the first point, René. Can you read? Take it easy, all right? Yeah, grammar notes. Knowing how to answer personal question is important as it helps build trust and rapport in both personal and professional relationships. It facilitates facilitates facilitates, facilitates effective communication, allowing others to understand and connect with you better. Additional, it demonstrates confidentials and openness, which are key to forming a strong, meaningful interactions. Very good. All right. So, um, since the objective, guys, is to do questions today, right? We need to understand, right? The formula that we usually use to make a question, you know, what is the formula that we use? Okay. So, w -H. talking about that, right? WH, we're going to have, depending on the, depending on the, on the tense, depending on the conjugation that you use, you're going to use the auxiliary, right? So, yes. In here, you can say do, you can say does, you can use did, you can use have. If you're talking about present perfect, you can use has, you can use will, you can use had. Okay, we have a lot of, a lot of auxiliaries that will define if you are speaking in present, in past, or in future, right? depending on the auxiliary. And then? Uh, the, the subject. The subject. And, the com and then? Uh, on complement. We need another element. Oh. One more. And then the complement. Verb. The That's verb. The, complement. The verb. Yes. The verb. There you go. OK. So, if we have this formula, right, you will be able to create questions in present, right? You will be able to create questions in past. You will be able to create questions in present perfect, future in this case, and past perfect, okay? However you want, okay? So... Depending on the conversation that you are, for example, this is a very, very basic formula, right? WH in this case is not a WH, it's a yes, no question, right? Mm -hmm. And then the structure, it's gonna be, this is the simple one, okay? Is our subject and complement. Are you a student? Is he your brother? Very easy, right? Yes. Using the verb to be, correct? Okay. Let's go with point number two. <clears throat> JC. All right. Um WH question with B. And uh, W WH question structure WH uh word plus is R plus subject plus complement examples. Where are you from? What is your name? Perfect. We continue in the very simple questions, correct? Yes. These ones are these ones are easy too. Perfect. So now let's go with point number three. If you don't if you don't need uh, notes, Carlos, can you read, Mister? Is possible for you? Maybe not, Rene. Okay, yes, no questions, other verbs, a structure. The do, do, does plus subject plus base 
verb and complement. Mm -hmm. Examples. Do you live in the city? Does she work here? Perfect. Okay. So what we're doing right now, we're doing about this one. I don't know if you remember, but talking about the verb to be and talking about other verbs. Right? So if you do this in present, okay, what will be the verb to be in present? R is... One more. Uh, B. I, 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 I am, am. am, exactly, am. am. Right? Now, yes. if you use other verbs, for example, go, stay, clean, right? Other verbs. We are going to use the, the these conjugations. You remember, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. So we understand that. Now, yeah. we have this one. What are the what are the auxiliaries? Because this is the conjugation for he, she, it. But what are the auxiliaries for present? Um, Depending on the, the subject. Uh huh. Uh, we have two options, right? Uh, yeah. E R is R plural, singular and plural. Is an R. But. Yes, but what is the auxiliary for he, um, she, and it, and I, and you, you know? Yeah. To to make negatives and questions. For example, she, he, it, is, is. Do. These ones. Uh, okay, for, for other verbs, right, Renee? Okay. Yeah. For other verbs. So... If you have the verb to be, there's no problem because you have the verb to be, you know? She is a doctor. She is not a doctor. Is she a doctor? Right? No complications. But if you go with other verbs, you need the do and you need the does. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And I'm going to set up here the conjugation. If you have he, she, it, for example, she plays... He goes, you remember that, right? Yeah. Okay. Now, let's go with the past. If you think about the past, what's the conjugation of the verb to be in past? Uh, um, was where? Was where, right? Give me a question with was, please. Where? Was you? Ah. Was okay. Was you know you where was playing the dog? Where who? Where was playing the dog? The, uh, ah, okay, dog. I understand it. I understand it. Where was where was the dog? Oh, okay. Playing, okay, I like it. We understand it, right? Yeah. Simple past verb to be, okay. Give me a question with where. Is for you, we, they. And you. <laughs> and, and you, yeah, you. You is included. <laughs> um... Where you stay in London? No, no with other no. verb. Oh yeah. When we went to London, we. Oh. But in a question, yes, yes, yes. But in a question, yes, you when got it. we were on in London, we stay at the. The best hotel, for example. Uh huh. Uh -huh. So, give me the question. Okay. Where did you? Where With the bird to be? With the bird to oh. be? Where? 
Where were you? Excellent. Where were you? Uh, stay when you were when you went to the, to London. That's the problem. Eso es lo que queremos solucionar hoy. YouTube sí? Por eso por eso estamos retocando el tema. Okay. Dos verbos, Ryan, René. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, Mr. JC, if you use if you use the verb to be, mm -hmm. okay? Don't give me another verb. Oh. You know? All Because right. the verb to be, the verb to be doesn't need another verb. All right. All right. So All right. you you can uh, tell where... me tell, tell me tell me. It's more simple than what you think. It's more simple. Where will you stay? No, ahí estás combinando where stay. That's where the you, word. Were you in London? Easy. Ajá. Uh -huh. Okay, I like that one. Easy. Were you in London? All right. All right. Without the where? the WH question. Ajá. Uh -huh. Or you the can word. be the word. It can be when or why. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Why were you in London? That one is possible too. Okay. All right. So pay attention right here. We have the verb to be in past, right? Was and where. Mm -hmm. And we understand that we don't combine it with another verb. Okay. We don't combine okay. it with another verb. What is the situation here? Because I am combining in here. Why I am combining? Where was the dog playing? Why in that example, I am mixing two verbs? Because uh, the question is the, ¿Dónde estaba el perro? Cuando, como cuando estaba jugando, la acción que estaba haciendo, ¿no? Exactly. ¿Dónde jugaba el perro? ¿Dónde estaba jugando el perro? ¿Dónde estaba jugando el perro? So look at this one. It is possible. It is possible to have the verb to be and another verb if you have ing. That is possible. And termination ed. And where was it? No. And termination ed can be. Where was the dog? Where was the dog? But... For example, this one. When was the dog depressed? Uh -huh, yeah. It's possible. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. Or why was the dog depressed, right? Okay. Yes. So, so we got was and where. We got it, right? Mm -hmm. Let's go now. Let's go with other birds. In past. Other verbs in past. We're gonna have the uh, what auxiliary? We only have one auxiliary for past. Did, did. Right, and the conjugation. What's the conjugation of the verb for past? Ed. Ed. Right. And irregular verbs. And irregular verbs. So those are the options that we have, right? <clears throat> and you can say, for example, um, where did you study? In pass, right? I study in the University of Sonora. I studied in the University of Sonora, right? So... One more time, look at this one. Bird to be. She is tall in present. She is tall, right? In yes. present, I'm going to say she works. This is my conjugation, right? Yes. And in present, I'm going to have a question like, does she work? Correct? Yes. She, mm -hmm. she works. Yes, she works, right? 
That's another option. So oh, present yes, and past. Yes, she does. Oh, yes, she does. Exactly. That, right? It, it says a uh, review for me. Um, that is for third person uh, at the present. That is correct. Exactly. Okay. Thank you. That's the auxiliary will be for present. Yeah. Okay. So we have present, we have past. Let's go with future. This one is very easy. Because if you talk, if you think about future and you think about the verb to be, will. it's ve it's gonna be will what? Will, will be um, will be, yeah. Okay. Is this possible? Will am, will is, will are, is that possible? Uh no, I guess not. No, it's not okay. So Will M impossible, will is impossible, will are impossible. What we have is will be. Yes. Okay, to make to make the, the verb to be in in future. Okay. Yeah. Now, so I'm gonna say something like tell me an example. When I grow I up, I will be uh Football players in uh -huh. this class, in, in this course. I will be in English class. So when I grow up, I will be. I will be a football player, you said? Yeah. A football player. Okay. It's easy because we have the verb to be. Now. With the other verbs, it's easy too in this case because it's will. Other verbs, right? I'm going to say something like will go, will stay. This is easy. Okay. And the auxiliary for will, for will, sorry, the auxiliary for future. Only will. Only will. Okay. So we have an idea, right? Yeah. A question in future. A question in future. Uh, will you go to the party? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Will you go to the party? Okay. And that's it. We have present. We have past and we have future, all right? For basic questions, correct? Yeah. That's what we're doing. Okay. <clears throat> so let's go with the, the grammar very fast. Can you help me, Rene, with the instructions? Yeah, yes, no questions with B. Exercise one, convert the statements into yes, no question using the present simple form of verb to be, then write a positive and negative answer for each question. Very good, okay. This is very easy. Positive sentence. They are student. What is the question? Are, are, they, student? are they students? Are they students? Possible positive answer? Yes, they yes, are. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Are they students? Negative answer. No, no they, they aren't. They aren't. No, they aren't. Oh, they are. Are they not. Aha, are aha. Not. Oh, no, they're not. Exactly. Both are correct, okay? Estamos en review, okay? I am in the library. What is the question? Am I in the library? Good pronunciation. Am I in the library? Am I in the library? Carlos. Positive answer, Carlos. Am I 
Am I in the library? Was it? Yes. Yes, I am in the library. Yes, I am in the library. Or yes, yes I, I am. am. Oh, yes, I am. Mm -hmm. um, am I in the library? Negative sent negative answer? No, I'm not. No, I am not. Oh, no, I'm no, not. I, no, I am not. We continue, but we have the verb to be. He is my friend. What's the question? Is he my friend? Is he your friend? It can be. Oh. Yeah, it can be. Is he your friend? Oh, yeah. Or my friend, whatever. Uh, is he my friend? Is he your friend? Yes, he is. Yes, yes he is. A negative? No, he isn't. No, he isn't. No, he isn't. Perfect. Let's continue very fast. It is a sunny day. What's the question? Uh, it is. Is it a sunny day? Uh huh. Look at the look at the intonation. Is it? Is, is it, it? Is, is it, it, it? Is it a sunny day? Mm -hmm. Is it a sunny day? Is, is it? Is it so? Yes, it is. Yes, no, yes, it, it is. isn't. Yes, it no, is. Isn't. Yes, yes, it is. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. Thank you, Carlos. No, it isn't. You are late. Are you late? Are you late? Are you late, Rene? Yes. Me? Yes, I do. <laughs> yes, I am. Yes, I am. No. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. There you go. Okay. She is a singer. Is she a singer? Is she a singer. Is she a singer? Yes, she is. Mm -hmm. No, she... No, she's not. No, she's not. Or no, she isn't, right? Isn't, no, she yes. Isn't. Very good. Perfect. No complications, right? No. It's a review. Okay. Oh, está muy fácil. So, no, esto está fácil, of course. <laughs> Vamos iniciando, Carlos. Um, help me, Carlos, with the instructions, please. No, hombre, para que hable. Mm -hmm. Uh, grammar W H question with B exercise to read the W H question and write write your answer. Own answer. Entonces yes, pronuncia answers. esta palabra. Own, own, answers. Own, answers. Your own, answers. No, la otra. Own answer. Oh, your this own, one. Own, yes, esa. Own, 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 own answer. Own answers. Okay. So think about it, guys. Why is the ocean salty? Oh, cabrón. Uh huh. Why is the ocean salty? Because. You can do that, but in English. <laughs> You got it, Rene. You have it. Uh, because the ocean. Complete answer. The ocean is salty because. Oh, right? Okay, yeah. the ocean is salty because. It. Have uh, conjugation. It has. It has. Um, it has a lot of minerals. 
Maybe, can be. Uh, yeah, okay. A lot of minerals. What is A your lot idea? Salt. <laughs> A lot of salt, of course. Carlos, where is the tallest building in the world? The tallest building in the world. Uh, the tallest buildings in the world. ¿Qué significa eso? Tallest. ¿Cuál es el, el, el más alto? El, el más alto del el edificio mundo. más alto en el mundo. ¿Dónde está? Okay, building. No, 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 no. Uh, el más alto, pues eran las Torres Gemelas. Pero ahorita, Ay, ¿cuál es? Pero no. El de. A... El de China. Probably. Do you know the name? I don't know. I don't know what is that. The tallest building in the world is in China. Is in no, China. I think it's um, in the Middle East. In... Dubai? Yes. Yes, yes. I don't, don't remember the, the tower, but it's in Dubai, yes. I remember, yes. Where the, is, is I it? I don't know. No. Reprobado in, todo. In Dubai. In Dubai. Uh, yeah. Mm, something yeah. about Khalifa, right? Or Bur something. Ah, Khalifa. Yes. Bur Khalifa. Bur Khalifa in Dubai. Ah, sí, cierto. Yeah. Bur Khalifa or something Bur Khalifa like that? Khalifa in Dubai. Yeah. Stay Arab Emirates. Has been the board tiles Who is the president of your country? Where to be? Very simple. The president. new the, the new one or, or the 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 ahorita. La nueva. Mm -hmm. Y una vez empezamos con la nueva ya. Right. All right. The new president of your country. of my country but to be is Claudia Chainbound. How do you spell Jorge Chainbound? Gales. Ah, no, no, no es cierto. Ganó la Claudia, no te sé. Churchill, no. Claudia. Ni hablemos mejor de política. Yeah, I know, but I don't even know how to spell the last name. ¿Qué no es SH? No. Chain, Chainbound. Sí, es SH, SH. Shane Baum, okay. algo así. <laughs> Shane Baum, I don't know. Claudia Shane Baum, I don't know. And Number four, here. I hate her. <laughs> what is the most popular sport in your country? Okay. Bueno, here in United States is American football. No, okay, it's the football answer. soccer, no? A, a, a sí, nivel nacional no, football, football soccer. In my country is the soccer. Okay, so the most, the most popular, popular sport sport in my country is the soccer. And both my too. country is soccer. I agree. All right. How is your mood today? Bird to be. Um my mood I'm happy. I'm happy. My mood is better. My mood, my mood today is really happy. My mood today is really happy. Okay, what was your answer, Carlos? Really happy. Or you had another answer, Rene? Yeah, my, my mood today is tighter. Okay, yeah, my mood. Happy uh, we need to fix your pronunciation on this one, Rene. You say, tired, tired, okay. you know? And it, tired, you have to say, tired, tired. Tired. Uh -huh. tired. 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 Se escribe tired, no? Se escribe tired. Estamos felices por regreso a clases todo. Nah, really? That's uh -huh. good. Yep. Number six. Where is when is the next holiday? Tire. Very easy. Tire. 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 Uh, 
So, the when is the next holiday? holiday? It's gonna to be September 16th. Sixty or sixty? Holiday. Sixteen. It's going to be Six. ¿Cómo, cómo se... ¿Cómo September sixteenth. Yeah. Sixteen. Yeah. Sixteen. Yeah. September sixteenth. Yeah. The next holiday is I going to be sixteen. Okay, so we have a listening. Okay, Doc. No, yeah. ya empezamos con lo difícil. Come on, Carlos. Imprimiste el libro, Carlos. Te voy a regañar. Ya eh, que te imprimí dos, do, pero me faltó uno. Son un montón, pero ahorita lo voy a imprimir el otro. El otro ya lo imprimí ahorita. El morado ya lo imprimiste. Ya, ya lo voy a, a un repasón y voy a estudiarlo. Ya. Parece que le prometí que le iba a hacer gana de aquí a diciembre. Yeah, exactamente. You ya, promise. ya dejarme de, de juegos. Ya dijiste, Carlos. A ver si es cierto. Ok, so you are going to listen to 20 questions. Very easy questions, actually, because it's with the verb to be. Ok, for example, if you listen, imagine, right? Number one, for example, are you tired? And then you're going to say, yes, I am. Oh, se dejó de compartir. Are you happy today? Yes. And then you answer, yes, I am, or no, I am not. Okay, so listen to the questions are very easy with the verb to be. Okay, Doc? Okay. Here we go. True English Academy Listening Program. Listen to the following 20 yes-no questions in simple present using the verb to be. You will have a few seconds to answer on the corresponding lines. Number one, are you tired? Number two, is your mother a doctor? But to be only, okay? Number three. Is your pet a dog? Is your pet pet a dog? Is your pet a dog? Number four, are you in your house now? Number five, are you in school? Number six, is your best friend a man? Number seven, is the ocean purple? The ocean, is it purple? Number eight, is your favorite color blue? Number nine, are you a good actor? Number 10, are you a good friend? No, I'm not. It's just kidding. <laughs> Number 11, is Mexico a big country? Number 12, is the weather cold today? Number 13, are you a woman? Number 14, is New York in Europe? You got this one. Is New York in Europe? No, yes. Yes, I got it. Number 15, is winter your favorite season? Number 16, 
Number 16. Is your father a mechanic? Number 17. Are you a dentist? Number 18. Is your city cold in winter? Number 19. Is Paris in France? Number 20. Are you tall? All right. So, Mr. JC, you are number one, Rene number two, Carlos three, Rene four, five Rene, six Carlos, seven JC, eight Rene, nine Carlos, ten JC, eleven Rene, twelve Carlos, thirteen JC, fourteen Rene, fifteen Carlos, sixteen JC, seventeen Rene, eighteen Carlos. 19 JC, 20 Rene. All, All right. right. We so are, remember. We are three on the class. Only three right now. Yes. Okay. That's it. Okay. So what, what I'm going to do, I'm going to play the audio and you, you need to respond to your question. Okay. Yes. Here we go. A few seconds to answer on the corresponding lines. Number one, are you tired? No, I'm not. Easy like that. Number two, is your mother a doctor? No, she isn't. Number three, is your pet a dog? Number four, are you in your house now? Yes, I am. Number five, are you in school? No, I'm not. Number six, is your best friend a man? Number seven, is the ocean purple? No, it's not. Number eight, is your favorite color blue? Yes, it is. Number nine, are you a good actor? Oh. Number no, 10, I'm, I'm... are you a good friend? Number 10 yes, is I for am. you, JC, right? Oh, 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 sorry. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. 10, are you a good friend? What yes, happened, Carlos? You're back? Sí, yes, we are going to volar, man. All right. Tienes tus números? Uh, no, ¿qué? ¿verdad? Dejen oír. ¿Qué número era? Pues los que no contestamos eres tú. <risa> tú, vas, tú, vas, tú vas después de René, de hecho. Ok. Nomás somos tres de clas. Only tres. That's three it. De clas. Uh, más fácil. Sí, pues no te, hoy no te puedes salvar, men. Hoy bueno. no te puedes salvar. <risa> so, number 10 is for JC. 11. 10. René. Are you a good friend? Yes, I am. Number 11, is Mexico a big country? Yes, it is. Number 12, is the weather cold today? No, it's not. No, Number it's not. 13, are you a woman? No, I'm not. I'm not the word. Number sure? 14, is New York in Europe? No, it isn't. Number 15, is winter your favorite season? No, it's not. <laughs> what? Number 16, is your father a mechanic? No, he isn't. Number 17, are you a dentist? No, I'm not. Number 18, is your city cold in winter? No, it's not. Perfect. Number 19, is Paris in France? Yes, it is. E? Number 20, 
Are you tall? No, I'm not. Yes, you are. You are no. not tall. 1.6. Oh, no, you're not. No. Ah, se mira más alta, va. Right, sí, se, ve, se, se ve muy mujerón la René. Ajá. Uh -huh. <laughs> 1.6. <laughs> like 1.75 or something. Oh. This is, this is, how do you say medium? It's a uh, medium size medium. On, on, on the woman's yeah. in Mexico. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's correct. Por eso no me considero alta. O sea, yo me siento una eh, estatura promedio. 160. Las yeah, fotos no engañan. <laughs> yes, René. All right, guys. Well, we finished. Very easy, right? Where to be? Yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah, very easy. So let's go with some vocabulary. Um, remember, yesterday we were talking about phrasal verbs. Okay, so we're going to continue with the phrasal verbs. Remember, we have five phrasal verbs every day. So let's go with number one. Give out, which is this one? Are you familiar with that? Or is new for you this expression? Give out. Oh, for me it's new. It's new. Look at the meaning. To provide information, such as phone number. So provide, give information, all right? All right. For example, look at the example here. Could you give out your phone number, right? So you can say, could you give me your phone no number? Puede. That's the that's the basics, right? No puedo yes. darle mi número. <laughs> Carlos. Bueno, you si should. ya lo dio el mayo zambada, que no lo, que no lo de yo, ¿no? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so give out, give out is like, Como dar. Exactly. But to provide. Information. Information, exactly. Information, okay. Can you give out your address? Your email? Can you give out your email? Exactly. Can you give out? El give out es, es como, no es polite, no? Es como más colegial. Yeah. Exactly. Uh -huh. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Can you give out your mail? Can you give out? What else can you give out? Uh, your uh, address. Your address. Your address. There you go. Can you give out? So provide, okay? All right. Give out, give out. Uh, what is the past tense? Give out. Give out. We got gave out and given, given out. Right? Give Listen. Uh -huh. okay. Okay. Listen give to my out. idea. Yesterday, yesterday, I went to the bank and I gave out my account number. All right. You know? Yeah. Or I went to the, I went to the, I went to the bank and I needed to give out my, my personal information. Okay. okay. Give out. Perfect. Let's go with number two, which is call back. This is very logical. Yes. Right? Yeah. So it's to return a phone call. Okay. Look at the example. I will. I'll call you back later. I'll call you back. How do you say, hey, llámame, okay? Llámame. Llámame. Call me call back. Call me back. Call me back. Right? 
Yes. How do you how do you say te llamaré? I, um, I, I will call you. call you back. Oh, I will call you. you back. I will call you back when? Tomorrow. I will call you back tomorrow. Perfect. Call back. Or, or so, I'm going to call you back tomorrow. It's correct. I'm going to call you back tomorrow. So this is in present, in past, because it's regular, called back. In past participle, it the same. Call. call back. Perfect. Call back. Let's go with the number three. Look, check with. I'm going to check with. I'm going to check with my boss. Check with. Look at the definition. To ask permission mm -hmm. or approval. Como preguntar si me van a dar permiso o algo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going Checando. to check with, voy a checarlo con mi, you know? I'm going to check with my mom. I'm going to check yes, with my teacher. Yes, Carlos, tell me. No, 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 sí, eso es, eso está bien. <laughs> I'll check with the manager. I'll check with the manager. Carlos and Jaycee, they will check with their wives. <laughs> exactly. Carlos and JC will check. Check with. with. Oh, check. Thank you. Check with their wives. Wives. Oh, it's in plural. You got it, guys. No, yo no sé, yo no sé con nada, con mi esposa, yo decido todo. Eso también. You check oh. it with yourself. No, no es cierto. <laughs> We have a similar one. Look at this one. Run by. Run by. To discuss, ask someone for the opinion. Run by. Can you read the example, Rene? I would like to run by you some ideas for the project. Okay. I would like to run by you some ideas. ¿Qué se les imagina? Run by. Uh... Literal lo traduzco al español. <laughs> O sea, ¿cómo te gustaría correr algunas ideas para este correcto, para este proyecto? O sea, como uh -huh. darlas, no sé, ajá. Aprobar. ¿Pasarlas podría ser? Sí, ya. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Sí, sí, Un chequeo también, pues. Uh -huh. Look at this one. Um, I don't know. I don't know if my car can if my car can travel out of the city that's my context i don't know if my car can travel out of the city i will check i will run by i will run by by who the mechanic i will run by the mechanic Why I will run by the checklist. I will run by the checklist. Could be. Yeah. In this case, okay. I am asking the opinion to the mechanic if my car is possible to drive mm -hmm. out of the city. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know, run by to check it. Listen, JC. Uh, hey, JC. Uh, Tomorrow we have a party. Did you run by with your wife? You know what I mean? Yes. 
No, no. el mes de esta semana solo. No. no, I'm not yet. Not yet, exactly. Yes. Aquí la tengo de frente, de hecho. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Number five. Bring up. Bring up. Um, es como traer a. Ajá, look at this one. To mention. Mm -hmm. Microphone teacher. Como cuando Microphone. pasas. Emigración ahí, ¿no? Con la visa. Que te pregunta. To bring up a... Uh... Yes, 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 yes. Look. Um, I will say my example. Yesterday at dinner my mom what is this one in pass? Bring out, in pass. Brought, 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 uh -huh. brought up. Brought up. Brought up. Okay. Brought up. So I am using yesterday at dinner my mom brought up. Bra brought up. The topic about vacation. Mention. Make sense? Yeah. En español es como traerlo a colación. Mm -hmm. Lo decimos, ¿no? Sí. Que no se, o, no sea, o sacar el tema, pues. Sacar el tema. Bring up. Brought up. Eh, in future, tomorrow in the meeting... Um, we'll bring up who? Um, tomorrow in the meeting. My boss. Yes, thank you. My boss will bring up what? The, um, the information of the month. All right. The, I would say the monthly report could be. Yes. There you go. So it's like the boss men will mention the monthly report. So be prepared. Well, in Spanish, uh, mañana en la reunión, mi jefe introducirá. Eh, Mencionará. Uh -huh. Ajá, okay. yes. El reporte Hablará de. Visual. Exactamente. Mm -hmm. okay. Right. Okay. Bring up. Bring up. So let's continue with idioms. Okay. So number one. Break. Ice. Break the ice. Romper el hielo. Mm -hmm. This is literal. Okay. To start a conversation in a social setting. Making people feel more comfortable. Give me the example, JC. Mm. Hi. Um, are you from the, from this town, for example? Uh huh. Are you from this town? Right. And then you can say, I'm just breaking the ice. I'm just breaking the ice. Makes sense, right? It's like in Spanish, right? This one is very common. Mm -hmm. Okay. Number two, ready? Yeah. Break the ice. Uh, what would it be in pass? Yesterday in the meeting, I... Broken. First... Broken is past participle. Break, broke. Broke. So yesterday at the meeting, I broke the ice with a joke. Oh. Make sense? Yes. 
René, how, how will you break the ice on the next meeting? How will you break the ice? I will break the ice with the... I will break the ice to speak in English. <laughs> to speak in English, okay. That's a good one. Number two. René, what know. are you eating? Eh, un hielito <laughs> de mango. To know es como dar a conocer algo, no? To, exactly, to learn something about someone in this case. Look at the example. I like to get to know you, get to know you better. Mm -hmm. I'd like to get to know you. So this one, get to know you, will be equal to uh, know more about you. Know more about you. I want to get to know you. Look at this question. Did you get to know your grandparents? Did yes. you get to know? I did. Only, only one. Only one. Right? Did you get to know? Alcanzaste a conocerlos? To know, get to know each other, right? In this case. Perfect. Get to know. Easy. Let's go with number three. Touch base. This is similar to Spanish too. Tocar base. Uh huh. Give me an example. Um, I'm going to touch base with my boss with your uh, permission. I'm going to take. I'm going to touch base with my boss. With About what? Your um permission, como se dice permiso, say permission. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. About your vacation, for example. Okay. About your vacation. Okay, I'm it's... going to touch base. Mm. You touch touch base, what is touch base? Is similar to Spanish, like voy a tocar base con mi con mi jefe. No, yo no lo había escuchado ni en español. ¿Really? Yeah, really. El Jesse si trae frases nuevas. <laughs> Jesse is good, I know. Estuve estudiando. Nunca habían escuchado, voy a tocar base con... Toco base contigo más tarde, ¿no? Mm -mm. Oh, you, como... understand, you understand it? Yeah. Sí, es como, por contigo. ejemplo... Palo fresita, oh, esa frase. Vamos a cenar. Sí, déjame tocar base en la casa y ahorita me regreso, por ejemplo. That's correct. Exactly. Wow. Como para decir, you, me reporto y me regreso. Pues. Déjame you checo tarjeta a... y regreso, ¿no? Es the same, checar tarjeta. Yes, yes. Con mi, right? con my wife. Yes. <laughs> yes. Es que tengo que sepa que llegué y lo voy a... René, you need a, you need a husband for these phrases. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Number... Yeah, yeah, yeah. With the boyfriend is you will you, you will you will boyfriend? receive those phrases. No. No, yep. no Amigo yep. cariñoso, amigo con derecho, con izquierda. Probably. <laughs> un muñeco, <laughs> un cariñoso. <laughs> oh, qué moderna, qué moderna. <laughs> Number four. It's a joke. It's a joke. Open up. Open up. Open Abrirse. up. Abrirse. To share more personal information or feelings. When you are drunk, you open up. Yes. Right? 
Okay. Open up, open up. Um, tell me something in past with some context. Eso ya son como los best friends, ¿no? Ya más personal. Mm -hmm. Open up. Best, I open up with you uh, when when I met you up, at, at work, for example. Yes, 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 it's correct. When I met you at work. I opened up with you. Me abrí contigo. Te dije cosas, you know? Yes. All right. Number five to finish. Fill me in. Fill me in. Fill me in. To provide more details or, or information. Look at the example. Can you fill me in on your email address and phone number? For example. No, I'm a um, yeah, it's possible, Carlos. Yeah. Like asking for information, you, right? You asking for information. address and you Información adicional. Uh -huh. Maybe. Listen to, escuchen el contexto, a ver si lo entienden en el contexto. Um, for example, René is my secretary. Okay? Yeah. And today, in the morning, we had a meeting. We had a meeting, but I was, I was absent in the meeting. Because I had a car accident, for example, you know? So mm. the only person that was in the meeting was Rene with the investors. Make sense? Yes. So yes. when I arrive to the office, I'm going to say, hey, Rene, fill me in. So ah, como, como, como dame una retro. Una retro fill me in. De lo, que, de lo que pasó en, en, en la reunión, pues. Mm -hmm. Fill me in, and then you don't you don't have to say, "Hey, Rene, can you please tell me what happened in the reunion today, please?" Ah, okay. Estás diciendo, dime todo en en esa frase. Yeah, fill me in. All right. Right. Tell me what happened in the reunion. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, when you when you want to know when you want to know something, you know, like a problem, you want to know a problem. What's yeah, yeah. what's happening? And then pues you say, me. Me quedo, me, ¿no? <laughs> you got it. Yes. Yes. So, so. Fill me in. All oh. right. We have a listening. Okie dokie. Acuérdense que los, listens, los listenings van a cambiar. Van a ser unos fáciles y unos complicadillos. Este es el complicadillo. Okidoki. Hombre, que sea el fácil, mejor. <laughs> <laughs> ok. So, what we need to do is we will listen three conversations. One, two, and three conversations. Ok. These conversations are about, look at this, making a reservation in a hotel. Ok. Mm -hmm. The number two is scheduling a doctor's appointment. Yes. Okay. And number three is opening a bank account. Okay. All right. Yes. So this is my recommendation. You're going to listen twice. Oh, yeah, I don't know if twice. I don't know if we have time. We're going to listen. And then one lady is going to be asking questions about the conversation, okay? Vamos bien? Conversación, escuchan la conversación, and then somebody will ask you a questions about the conversation. Very easy questions, to be honest. But pay attention to the conversations, all right? 
primero lo escuchamos y luego una persona va, va a preguntar qué es lo que escuchamos y nosotros vamos a contestar. ¿Es correcto? Exactly. That's okay. correct. Okay, Doc. Let's yeah. try one. If it's complicated, we repeat it, okay? Okay. All right. Here we go. El ejercicio dura 10 minutos. Termin dura 10 minutos todo. Terminamos, se acaba la clase, ¿ok? Hay que poner mucha atención para no repetir. We have no time. Here we go. True English Academy Listening Program. Listening. Making a hotel reservation. Good afternoon, Grand Hotel. How can I help you? Hi. I'd like to make a reservation for next weekend. Of course. For how many nights? Two nights, from Friday to Sunday. And what type of room would you like? A double room with a sea view, please. Let me check availability. Yes, we have a double room with a sea view available. Could I have your name, please? It's John Smith. Thank you, Mr. Smith. Can I have your contact number? Sure, it's 678-945-8734. Great. Your reservation is confirmed. Is there anything else you need? No, that's all. Thank you. All right. So those are the conversations, okay? I'm going to play it one more time. Get information like the phone number, the last name, okay? Get that information. Here we go. And with a sea view. Of course. Good. Good afternoon, Grand Hotel. How can I help you? Hi, I'd like to make a reservation for next weekend. Of course. For how many nights? Two nights from Friday to Sunday. And what type of room would you like? A double room with a sea view, please. Let me check availability. Yes, we have a double room with a sea view available. Could I have your name, please? It's John Smith. Thank you, Mr. Smith. Can I have your contact number? Sure, it's 678-945-8734. Great. Your reservation is confirmed. Is there anything else you need? No, that's all. Thank you. Let's go with the questions. Questions. Number one. For how many nights is John staying at the hotel? Tonight. Saturday and Sunday. Write him down. Oh, yo estaba escribiendo las preguntas. Oh, the numbers are for the answer, sorry. Traten de hacer respuestas completas, ¿no? Como John is staying two nights at the hotel. No sean flojitos, cabrones. <laughs> <laughs> Number two, here we go. Number two. What type of room did John request? Number three. When is John arriving at the hotel? Number four. What view does the room have? Number five. 
Number 5. What is John's contact number? Number 6. What is John's last name? Number 7. Is John staying during the week or the weekend? Number 8. Did John ask for anything else? Listening. Scheduling a doctor's appointment. Good morning, Dr. Green's office. How may I assist you? Hello. I'd like to schedule an appointment with Dr. Green. Certainly. Are you a new patient? No, I've been there before. I am not a new patient. Okay, when would you like to come in? Do you have any openings next Wednesday? Let me check. Yes, we have a 10 a.m. and a 2 p.m. slot available. Which do you prefer? The 10 a.m. slot would be great, please. All right, could I have your name and contact number to confirm the appointment? Sure, my name is Sarah Brown and my phone number is 379-658-9923. Thank you, Sarah. Your appointment is confirmed for next Wednesday at 10 a.m. Great, thank you. One more time. You. Hello. Listening. Scheduling a doctor's appointment. Good morning, Dr. Green's office. How may I assist you? Hello, I'd like to schedule an appointment with Dr. Green. Certainly. Are you a new patient? No, I've been there before. I am not a new patient. Okay, when would you like to come in? Do you have any openings next Wednesday? Let me check. Yes, we have a 10 a.m. and a 2 p.m. slot available. Which do you prefer? The 10 a.m. slot would be great, please. All right. Could I have your name and contact number to confirm the appointment? Sure. My name is Sarah Brown, and my phone number is 379-658-9923. Thank you, Sarah. Your appointment is confirmed for next Wednesday at 10 a.m. Great. Thank you. Questions Number 1. Who is the doctor the patient wants to see? What doctor? What doctor the patient wants to see? No, no se me olvidó el nombre, ¿cuál es? Adiós, madre. Gray, Gray, algo con la G de gato. Number two. Doctor Green. Doctor Green. ¿Cómo se dice? ¿De qué color? I'm sorry. Here we go. Es tu match, es tu... Oh, come on, Carlos, you can do it. Number two. Is the patient new or has she visited before? Number three. What day of the week is Sarah's appointment? Number four. What time is Sarah's appointment? Number five. What is Sarah's last name?
Brunch, algo así. Brown. Number Brown. six. Brown. What is Sarah's contact number? Sarah's contact number. Number seven. Did Sarah choose the morning or afternoon slot? Number eight. Did Sarah confirm the appointment? All right. There you go. Nos faltó uno. Les mando el audio para que lo terminen. Yes, please. Sí, me, me yes, did you... Better. Okay. E, and then you check you check your answers also also for number one and number two. Yes. You have the you have the possibility. Okay. So yeah. okay, I will send you the audio, and uh, I'll see you until Monday. Okay. Remember, it's only Monday, okay. Tuesday, and Tuesday Wednesday. And Wednesday. Yeah. Okay, okay. All right. All okay. right. Perfect day. One, one minute. Bye-bye. One, one, one minute, one minute. 30 seconds, 30 seconds. Yes, Carlos. Yes, sir. Uh, tell me, tell me. No, es, yo, el César no sé si ha mandado el pago dijo que batalló con su tarjeta creo que hasta el 9, no sé qué ahí pero lo va a mandar, ya creo que le va a aparecer no sé qué me, me explicó ahí ah, okay, me trajo todavía el paro el César, el César, el que estaba en... uh -huh. me, pero le mandé el dinero me dijo que tuvo una complicación pero que el 9 le iba a reflejar, pero no sé si ya llegó pues con usted ah, ok, no te preocupes, don't worry ahí, ahí, tú me lo va a preguntar ahorita, si ya pudo ok, ok, Carlos, thank you okay. See you later. Bye, man.